What makes soft plastic baits so great is not necessarily the bait, but the way you rig them. They're very, very versatile in the way you can rig the bait. The four most popular ways of rigging a soft plastic by far is a Texas rig, a Carolina rig, rigging them with a jig head or rigging a swim bait. Now there's plenty of other ways to rig a soft plastic, but if you master these four, then you're gonna be able to fish anywhere in the water column and fish just about any season and just about any lake, stream or river in the country. You know, bass anglers have literally hundreds of baits to choose from. A successful day out in the water often hinges on picking the right bait for the right situation. Unfortunately, it's easy for an angler to make the wrong choice when they don't fully understand the nuances of rigging and presentations. In this Beyond the Bait video series powered by Friends of Streamlight, I'm gonna offer a uniquely technical focus on the best baits for bass fishing. Along the way, I'll try to dispel many of the wives' tales, myths, and misnomers associated with bass fishing. Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Kuhn, editor in Game and Fish Magazine. Come along as I attempt to help you put more fish in the boat. Now let's get to it. Jig heads have been around forever. They have been fished everywhere in the world, in saltwater and freshwater, for every fish imaginable. And there's a good reason for that because they catch fish. They're simple to rig and they're very readily available. The advantages of jig heads are you can fish them just about anywhere on just about any soft plastic bait. Now, I get a kick out of the fact when people talk about shaky heads, which is essentially a, a jig head, they've been around forever and ever and ever. But anyway, jig heads do catch a lot of fish because of their ability to be fished in so many different ways. As I've mentioned, jig heads have a lot of advantages and probably the most distinct advantage that they have is the fact that they are connected directly to the bait. When you rig a soft plastic on a jig head, the lead is connected directly to the bait. What that does is it allows you to make precision and precise casts because the rigging and the bait are all the same. It's all one unit. Another advantage of a jig head is the fact that it gives you some great feel because the lead is connected directly to the bait as is the hook. When you're fishing riprap or gravel, your bait is in contact with the bottom and you're fishing on a tight line, which gives you the ability to monitor that bait and the bottom as you're fishing it. So it's almost like you've got a depth finder, fish finder, built into that jig head when you are connected with the bait. You know what you're fishing in and you can adjust your presentation and your cadence accordingly. Another distinct advantage of a jig head is that you're fishing with an exposed hook that's upturned. What I mean by that is when you get a bite and a fish sucks that in, he has difficulty in expelling it because the hook's exposed. If you have a Texas worm rig and the hook is buried into the soft plastic and the fish sucks it into his mouth, he can expel that again because the hook is not exposed and you've got to drive the hook through that soft plastic to, to hook the fish. With a jig head, that exposed hook, when he sucks that in and he tries to spit it out or you set the hook, there's no impingements. When you set the hook, that fish is on and he's buttoned. Now there's any number of variety of heads, jig heads that you can buy and that you can rig. There's stand-up jig heads, there's football jig heads, there's sliders, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have never heard of. It's another way to fish a, a jig head. There's any number of jig heads that you can, in any shape and size, hooks, weights that you can buy that allows you to fish anywhere at any time in the water column. Now while there's a lot of advantages to fishing a jig head, there are some disadvantages also. Because the weight is connected to the hook, when the fish inhales that bait, he feels the weight. And they also can feel the hook which is a natural feeling, so they may spit it out. The other disadvantage, and this is probably the biggest one, and everybody that's ever fished a jig head knows this, is it's not weedless at all. When you run into a weed or anything whatsoever, that exposed upturn hook is going to hook and snag whatever you run into. Hey, thanks for joining us on this episode of Beyond the Baits, powered by Streamlight, 
I hope some of the information contained in this video will help you become a better bass fisherman. For more information about bass fishing and other outdoor topics, join us at GameAndFishMag.com or pick up a copy of Game and Fish on a local newsstand near you.